Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer, thanks to Heath Wool for this one. Amy plays in Explore the Underdark, and she's getting a Manor Gate and a Gond Gate. Which of these lands enter the battlefield tapped? Which enter the battlefield untapped? All right, so the first thing that we wanna do in order to get a handle on what's gonna happen here is we're gonna start with the base instruction that we're getting from the card. So as you can see, Explore the Underdark is gonna tell us to put both of those lands onto the battlefield tapped. Now, you probably already know that if there's no instruction either way, the default would be for something to enter the battlefield untapped. However, that rule is not really gonna enter the equation here because in this case, we actually do have a specific instruction that tells us that we're putting the lands onto the battlefield tapped. So that's the base event that we're gonna start from. Both of these lands entering the battlefield tapped. Now let's take a look and see if we can identify any replacement effects that might change this event. And of course, we've got a couple of really hot prospects right out of the gate. We have one from the Manor Gate that wants to make it enter the battlefield tapped. We have another from Gondgate that wants to make both lands enter the battlefield untapped. And I guess we also have a third that's from the Manor Gate that makes you choose a color as it enters the battlefield. This isn't really gonna interact at all with what else is going on here, so I'm not really gonna talk about this one too much. I just wanted to bring it up so that people knew that it was there. All right, so now it's time to take a look and identify which of these replacement effects apply and how they apply. And this is one of the things I really like a lot about this question because usually this step is pretty straightforward. However, here, it actually requires a pretty in-depth understanding of exactly how replacement effects work in order to correctly parse this. So, to see what I mean, let's remember that if you have a replacement effect that wants to modify how some event is going down, then that replacement effect needs to be in existence before that event that it's replacing actually happens. So you could see that this is a little bit of a bummer for the replacement effects that we have that want to apply to this event. All of them come from the lands themselves, and what that means is that they are not going to be on the battlefield existing before the event that they want to replace happens, that being the event of those lands entering the battlefield. So that doesn't really bode well for any of those replacement effects we just talked about to actually get to apply. But hold on a second here. Because if you're an astute viewer, you might have noticed something kind of unusual. If you were to play, for example, the Manor Gate just from your hand, well, we know that that would have to be entering the battlefield tapped, right? But that doesn't really seem to coalesce very well with what we just talked about. I mean, it's pretty much the exact same situation, right? The land isn't going to be on the battlefield until after it enters the battlefield, so that means the replacement effect that wants to make it enter the battlefield tapped is not going to exist before the event that it's trying to replace. So how would this sort of ability work at all? And the answer to that is that replacement effects that change how stuff enters the battlefield have their own special set of rules. Well, one specific rule in particular. Now, I'm actually making a full video that talks all about how these types of replacement effects work, and that's coming out later this month as my patron pick. However, for now, I'm just gonna focus on the parts of this rule that are important to the question that we have at hand. So, if you take a look here, you can see that replacement effects that change how something enters the battlefield can come from the object that's actually entering the battlefield if they apply to only that object. And so what that means is that the Gond Gate is not going to get to apply at all. You can see that the replacement effect that Gond Gate has applies to all gates that are entering the battlefield, not just Gond Gate specifically. On the other hand, the replacement effects that are on the Manor Gate both of those specifically apply to just Manor Gate entering the battlefield. And so therefore, they do fall under the categorization that this rule requires. And those effects will be able to apply as the Manor Gate is entering the battlefield. So now we've got all the tools that we need in order to answer our question fully. We start out with the base event of both lands entering the battlefield tapped. Then we're gonna apply the replacement effects that are applicable to this event. As we just discussed, the only replacement effects that will apply are gonna be the ones from Manor Gate. So Amy is gonna choose a color and have the Manor Gate enter the battlefield tapped. Now, of course, the choosing a color is cool and the comes into play tapped, well, it's already coming into play tapped. So that's the answer to our question. Both these lands will enter the battlefield tapped and Amy will choose a color. Now, that's pretty cool and all, 
but I think that I can already hear a bunch of people screaming at their computer screens, hey, wait a sec, Dave, what would happen if Amy made this exact same play, except she already had a Gond Gate all ready to go on the battlefield when she played that Explore the Underdark? What would happen then? And that is an excellent question. So let's examine how that would work. First of all, let's note that all of the stuff that we just discussed is still going to be just as valid as it just was. So that means that the replacement effects from the Gond Gate that's entering the battlefield, well, that's not going to be able to apply to anything. On the other hand, the replacement effects from the Manor Gate that's entering the battlefield, both of those still will. And of course, now, with this alternate scenario, we have one additional replacement effect that is going to apply to this event. That being the one from the Gond Gate that's already on the battlefield, and it wants to make both these lands enter the battlefield untapped. Now, let's take a look at how all of these replacement effects apply, and change what the original event of both these lands entering the battlefield tap are going to look like. First of all, we'll start with the Gond Gate that's entering the battlefield. As we can see, there's only one replacement effect out of this entire set that wants to apply to that. That being the one from the Gond Gate that's already on the battlefield that wants to make it enter untapped. So that's the answer to the first part. The Gond Gate will enter untapped. Now, for the Manor Gate, things are going to be a little bit more interesting. We see that we still have the one that lets you choose a color, but there are now two different replacement effects, one that makes it enter the battlefield tapped, and the other that makes it enter the battlefield untapped. Amy is the person who controls Manor Gate, so she's the one who's going to get to decide which order those replacement effects are going to apply in. And so that would mean that Amy could make the Manor Gate enter the battlefield untapped, and then afterwards make it enter the battlefield tapped, so that it enters tapped, or she could do what most logical people would want to do in this situation, and apply the replacement effects such that the Gond Gate is going to apply last, and make it so that the Manor Gate enters untapped. So that's the answer to this alternate scenario. The Gond Gate will enter the battlefield untapped, and the Manor Gate will enter tapped or untapped according to Amy's choice. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.